You can join us live uh, on Facebook Live with Milt right now as we talk about a number of issues. Uh, uh, and, and Milt, let's sort of shuffle the deck a little bit and start yeah. with tonight, White Township Planning Commission, because Urban is on the schedule, isn't it? It is. Uh, they have submitted the uh, a final site plan, so it will be up for approval by the commission. Mm -hmm. um, we don't see any any issues. Everything's been addressed that uh, we've talked about, parking spaces, stormwater, all that. So I, I expect approval tonight. Yeah, I'm sure White Township is thrilled as everybody else is. Uh, from an official standpoint, White Township just must be uh, just bursting at the seams with this thing. Oh, yes. This is a, an excellent uh, project for the community. Uh, certainly uh, the benefits are uh, well known. In more jobs, uh, spinoff work, construction jobs. Um, certainly uh, the truckers that are going to be bringing the goods and, and uh, all that mm -hmm. will be using restaurants, maybe some lodging. So um, we're anticipating a lot of growth, possibly uh, other businesses then coming more to Windy Ridge. So. Have you heard anything along those lines of business inquiries? Uh, well, there's in lots of inquiries, but nothing, nothing concrete at this point. Okay. All right. So anything else planning commission tonight? Oh, uh, no, that'll be the major, major topic. That's tonight. it. That's it. All right. Well, let's talk about other things then and start on the roads. Uh, around White Township. There's certainly a lot of issues there. Yes, uh, we have a contractor uh, still working on the Muller Road realignment project up in the northern end of the township. Um, that's moving along. New drainage system has been installed. Uh, the new road right away, uh, stone base has been established, and mm -hmm. they're currently stabilizing the landslide area that occurred last summer. Yeah. Um, that's along the stream there. Uh, we expect paving within a couple weeks. And that should finish up the project with some guide rail installation and all that. But that stabilization process uh, can take some time, can't it? There's a lot of compaction that must be done, and, and there's some engineering involved. Oh, well, yes. We had, a, we had an engineer uh, lay it all out and design it for us. Uh, we shifted the road over to get it away from the landslide area. Um, the contractor put down fabric and brought in, like, R5, which is considerably large rock mm -hmm. we're down at the base and then we're adding some smaller rock as we go up the bank i mean it's about a 20 foot drop off so yeah uh, and it's very steep so um some big equipment up there dropping those rocks in yeah. place yeah speaking of engineering uh, you've got some engineering going on for some sanitary sewer lines in another part of the township correct up in the uh, airport road area 286 east um we're still continuing that I know the residents up there have been calling me uh, for an update on it, but uh, we're still in the final engineering, making some adjustments to the right-of-ways that we need to obtain. Um, so we're, we're still getting that. We have an authority meeting next week that mm -hmm. some of that stuff should come into uh, uh, final stages that we should be able to get with the property owners and wrap the right-of-ways up and hopefully get out to bids this winter and start construction next summer. That's oh, still our goal. That'd be good. Uh, and, and folks have legitimate concerns, don't they, that need to be addressed before you well, can move well, forward? Oh, yeah. I mean, we do our best to uh, to lay out the right-of-ways for the new piping as best we can. We're limited by the uh, – it's a gravity system, so we are we have to have meet certain depths and all that throughout the system. So sometimes we're, we can't always oblige where we would like to be – the resident or property owners would like it to be, but mm -hmm. we do our best and try to work with them. Yesterday here in Indiana in the morning, we had a couple of folks from Indiana Borough in talking about uh, stormwater and all of those issues. Uh, and one of the things they mentioned was having to work with White Township and what a good relationship that is. And you do because the water doesn't originate with you and it doesn't stop with you. It flows through. It does. We surround the borough. So a lot of our water comes passing through and then they give it back to us at the other end. So uh, it's kind of a fair trade somewhat. But yeah. uh, yeah, we're trying to work at the northern end of the township and um, the Chevy Chase area. We're looking at uh, doing some things there. We we had already done some work, um, but but there's other th engineering that needs done there. Also, we've taken over some stormwater basins in the township. We've taken ownership, and we've updated the uh, outlet structures for those basins, basically to make the basins work harder, uh, to fill up to fill up to our max capacity. A lot of the basins maybe are, were very conservative. So mm -hmm. when we'd have these rainstorms, they, they wouldn't hold much water. Um, so 
we've gone back, re-engineered those, put orifices in the outlet structures to mm -hmm. uh, maximize the capacity of those basins. Yeah. Hopefully it'll help downstream property owners not get flooded out as easily. A lot of the work that you do in terms of stormwater and, and any bodies of water, you really have to work closely with the state, don't you? DCNR and DEP? Well, we do. Um, you know, some of our permitting processes and, and all that, we can't, we can't just go into a stream. We get a lot of property owners calling us and saying, hey, you, you know, you need to clean these streams out. Mm -hmm. They're full of debris and causing flooding. We can't do that. Um, we can only clean out 50 feet on either side of a culvert or a bridge um, just to keep the bridges open. But we are not, we are not allowed to just mm -hmm. come in and dredge streams like they did in the past. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that, and there's good reason for that. I mean, sometimes you want to slow that water down so you don't get that erosion process. Um, you want to you mitigate those circumstances versus just opening up an open channel. Yeah. So. Those stormwater issues uh, happen in a year such as this when we're over 16 inches now over the uh, normal rainfall for a given year. We're already 16 inches on top of it. Uh, because of that, uh, anytime it rains, it seems, some place is getting some flooding. Um, White Township, a uh, new stormwater ordinance coming up, yes? Yes, a uh, new stormwater management ordinance mm -hmm. um, that is being advertised, uh, I believe, next week. Um, it will be up for adoption um, at the second supervisor meeting on the 24th. And some of the things we're doing there, we're, we're going to have greater oversight on property that um, do disturbances to uh, their surfaces. Okay. Um, we're going to come in and watch to make sure they're properly maintained. And they implement stormwater, better stormwater practices. In the past, we didn't really deal with residents. Mm -hmm. properties we were more just commercial but now with this new management ordinance we're re we're going to require all property owners including residential to submit some sort of a stormwater management plan um, to address water coming out of their downspouts french drains they can't just dump it anywhere they have to have a plan in place and that i mean it can be a simple sketch it's we're not asking for engineered drawings or anything like yeah. that but we want to see what their plans are to do with their stormwater. Is that all property owners that all will be affected? Owners, yes, residential okay. and commercial. That's a pretty big change for folks. They'll it have is. to they'll it have is. to get used to that. We're not we're not making it difficult. We just want people to think about it more mm -hmm. and actually uh, come to us and tell us what your plans are. Um, okay. It's just not an open book anymore. Yeah, yeah, understand that. Okay, so let's do some fun stuff. Let's talk okay. about the recreation. Right. Uh, and and here we are coming into a winter season, and so the S and T Arena, uh, it's not as if it falls dormant in the in the warm weather seasons. It's been a very very busy place all summer long, but now it's really going to kick in, isn't it? Yes, um, the ice skating uh, seasons in in full progress. Uh, we have. Um, I think you've you've interviewed our new ice skating instructor out there. Mm -hmm. um, she, I hear great things about her. She's doing a great job. Uh, a lot of people are taking lessons. Um, also, learn to play hockey. Um, that's starting up. There'll be a new little Penguins program, I believe, starting uh, either this Friday or next Friday. Yeah. Um, that's already registered. You can't you can't sign up. It's too late. But mm -hmm. uh, the class actually begins. Um, we got all the. Hockey games going on all the way from five, six-year-olds up through um, adults. And uh, so, you know, it's fun time. Go, come on out, watch some hockey games. Um, but uh, it, it's, in, it's a busy place right now. Still playing some baseball on the fields too, aren't you? They are. The over-40 baseball leagues in full swing. I'm not quite sure how many games they might be in the playoffs. But, uh, yep, um, Sunday afternoons. Come out and watch some baseball also. There you go. And you're making some uh, some more work done at the Getty Heights Dog Park, which we is are. pretty exciting. We are trying to wrap that project up. Uh, we have an obligation to DCNR for the grant that we received to finish that by the end of the year. Um, we poured some concrete to finish up the pavilion there. And we just have final landscaping, connect the water fountain up, mm -hmm. and uh, we should be ready for final inspection. And off, and off you go. Dogs can, can run. There you go. 
Water fountain for dogs or humans or both? Both. There, I yeah, thought a little so. one and a tall one. I thought so. That's that's yeah. pretty cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so planning commission tonight. Supervisors tomorrow. Anything on their agenda we need to be aware of? Um, just rehashing that we uh, are starting our fall leaf collection. Um, it'll be uh, starting on October 22nd. There'll be advertisements in the paper uh, the next two Fridays. But um, it's uh, five Mondays in a row, um, except for the 13th. That's a Tuesday because of our uh, Veterans Day observation on uh, Monday. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, the usual leaves only, no grass clippings or trash. You need to use biodegradable bags that you can buy locally or get online. Um, have them out at the curb by 7 o'clock Monday morning when our crews go around and start picking them up. And the maximum weight on those bags is 50 pounds. There you go. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you, Milt. You're always a pleasure, Todd. He's Milt Lady, White Township Manager, with us here this morning on Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. And by the way, uh, Milt mentioned uh, the collections they're going to be doing in White Township. Today is the first day for the limb collection for Indiana Borough as well. All right, it's 825 in the morning. Boomer, CBS Sports Minute.